fresh off the charcoal. Clay pot rice ready to go. Mix it all up. It smells amazing. You got those crispy bits at the bottom. This is a dish where the flavors really come in harder and harder. Clay pot rice is an iconic dish. And here in KL, it is regarded as one of the must eats. So in this episode, we are going to try two types of clay pot rice. One that we stumbled upon walking and one that is hidden in Brickfields. So sit back, relax, grab some bites too. You might get hungry. So we actually stumbled on this place while having a late lunch around here the other day in Brickfields. So we've been wanting to have clay pot rice for quite a while now. So they cooked this one over charcoal, which is amazing. It's already a spectacle in itself when you see it. So when you see it like this, you have to come and try it. Amazing. It smells great. So you have the clay pot here. It's on top of this plate. It's covered in foil. And then we also have a newspaper in between that plate and the clay pot. We have chopped a piece of chicken on the bone. We have the lap chunk, the uh, Chinese sausage. We have chopped scallions. Looks like there's a dark sauce, probably soy sauce. We're going to find that out soon. Thank you. We also have veggies too. We also get our stir fried veggies here. Fresh off the charcoal. Clay pot rice ready to go. Mix it all up. It smells amazing. You got those crispy bits at the bottom. So sometimes in New York, you know, you, sometimes you go to the Dominican spot, you call it the con con. You want the con con at the bottom, the crispy rice. I'm trying to rice by itself first. Oops. It smells delicious, nice and hot. Let's give it a go. When you mix it up like that, you gotta mix those crispy bits and the non-crispy bits. Plus you do get that little bit of aroma from charcoal. And what I like about it, this one's not overly salty. It's got that soy sauce in it, but it's not too salty. You get that little bit of crunch from the scallions in here too. Now let's try it with the chicken. I like this chicken's on the bone too, so you get all that like, all the cartilage bits. And here's the piece of the lap chong, the Chinese sausage. Oh yeah. So you take a bite of that lap chong, you get more of that fermented, kind of sour flavor to contrast everything else. So, you know, this is more of like the heavier the flavor with the rice, but then that, that lap chong really gives it a nice, like fermented, kind of sour flavor. I really like that, the way it contrasts the rice. Mm. Like, ooh. Mm. Cool, they give you a little bowl here of chili potty right here, chopped up chili potty. Please, to add some spice, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm on my own roll, okay. Especially a dish like this that isn't really aggressively spiced. Now I'm gonna try to get the money bite here. We have the lap chong, we got the chicken, we got the chili, we got the burnt rice. We got it all in one bite. Let's go. Wow, that chili potty really adds such a nice kick to it. I love the mixture of that when you get the lap chunks, the little sweetness, you get the spice of the chili potty, the slight saltiness, you get that nice burnt flavor of the crispy rice, you get that tender chicken too, wow. Also did not forget our veggies. Mm. Up next, a dish that we've never had before. Indian clay pot rice, packed with rich flavors. And it can also be found in Brickfields, Kuala Lumpur's Little India. Here at Seni Satisoru. For Indian clay pot rice, we have never had this before. I'm so excited. They have a wide selection of the different clay pot rice here, so we wanted to go with one meat and one seafood. So we got the mutton and we got the sotong or the squid. They look incredible. The aroma coming out of here when these arrive at our table was just was torture to even just look at it without eating it. Let's we'll start with the mutton. Mm. This is a dish where the flavors really come in harder and harder as you eat it, because uh, that first bite had a big chunk of mutton then all the spices came in. So there's a lot of curry leaves in here. There's that cumin, the cloves, that cinnamon. There's all those wonderful biryani spices that you come to know and love. Man, 
this is something else. Made the order incredible. Let's try the sotong, the squid. It's interesting because it also comes with chunks of potato in it too. Mm. This one's delicious too. It doesn't punch you as hard as the mutton one, but it's still quite spicy. It has a great flavor and it lets the clean taste of the sotong, the squid, come through. It's really good. Spotted something really interesting on the drink menu. Saw so it was Jira, so I looked that up, and that's cumin. A dream drink right here. I just take one whiff, and just you could smell the cumin seeds. There's cumin seeds on the bottom, and look at the color. I may have to drink this every single day now. If you want to try this place and you're starving, please prepare for wait to wait for a few minutes to get in your order and to get your order into your table because this place is packed. They just serve and serve all the time. And yeah, we will be back for more. Mutton with a lot of curry leaves. 